hello and welcome back to in the kitchen with pen today i'm going to make something that i actually did a video for last week but my microphone cut out so i'm just standing there going and you can't hear anything so as it's a firm favorite in this house i'm going to make it again but you've no idea what it is yet have you so come on down and take a look Well, as you may be able to see, it is rhubarb. So, I, we are making a rhubarb crumble. So, um, we need rhubarb. We need sugar. We need just a splash of orange juice. I know it sounds strange, but it really does work well. And rhubarb and ginger are a match made in heaven. So I'm just going to put my prepared rhubarb into a bowl and the rhubarb I picked it up in um, Aldi and it's forced rhubarb that means that it's grown in the dark so that's that's the only difference to the stuff that you get in your garden. Right so I'm also I'm gonna just going to set the temperature on my ninja to 160 and the t on bake and the time I'm only going to cook this for about seven minutes so I've got to go down quite a long way I don't want it overcooking and stewing we don't want stewed rhubarb in fact I'm going to go for six I want pieces of rhubarb okay back to the rhubarb go in with a couple of tea uh, dessert spoons of caster sugar I'm using golden caster sugar here you don't have to but it's in the jar so I'm going to use it now I said ginger didn't I honestly trust me when I say rhubarb and ginger truly are a match made in heaven so we want we want to taste the ginger but we don't want it to overpower the actual um, rhubarb so we're just going to stir that little lot together make sure everything's coated and we're literally going to add a dribble of orange juice right again I'm going to stir and in fact I'm going to get my hands in there and because I, I don't want this all, all this sandy sugar and ginger sitting at the bottom do I I want it over my rhubarb and once the oven at 180 for you if you're using your oven is preheated you then just roast this for about 10 minutes as I say you want it to soften but not there we go we're ready but not stew so now I just need to rinse my hand off move this lift the lid And in the oven or the grill in this case but it's working as an oven because it's on roast oh it went on the floor that won't be cook's perks that'll be bins perks right and lid down and we'll see that in six minutes right then on to the crumble part of our mix and in this bowl I have 75 grams of plain flour 75 grams of oats just your ordinary porridge oats and 75 grams of sugar and I'm just going to add just a little ginger we're going to keep the ginger theme running through to this mix it well and then I'm going to add in 75 grams of butter <coughs> excuse me so ring off pop the butter in and we're just going to rub it in just like we do when we're making a pastry but obviously it doesn't have to be as fine okay so oops isn't that called sod's law that's now finished so let's just rinse off right let's take a little look at the rhubarb 
Okay, let's open and take a look. Right, now that is, I hope, what I wanted, that it has softened. Actually, do you know what? It hasn't softened as much as I'd hoped. So, I'm going to give it another two minutes. On again. Down to bake. 160, and we only want two minutes. Goodness me, 35 minutes. It'd be, ugh. Haven't yet found a way of making this bit quicker. Okay, we'll go. Right, so, whilst that is doing its thing, I'm gonna cut off preheat, add food. You have to do that, okay, because I know it's hot enough anyway. Right, right then back to our crumble mix. And as I was saying, we just run, rub it through our fingers so that everything is mixed through with the butter. And when I say butter, you can use margarine, you can use specific spreads for making cakes and pies. And I'm actually using the Lidl's own brand, which I find very, very good, if I'm honest. Right, so. There we go. A few little lumps is fine. Because after all the crumble isn't dead fine, is it? It's It's got texture and this is what your oats are going to do as well. They're adding texture. Right. That's that. Then the rhubarb is just finished and yeah that's fine so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it into a dish <coughs> um ip dip I'll go with the largest one first see you can see there's still some bite in the rhubarb and that's what you want <coughs> please excuse me I've woken up with a dreadful runny nose this morning and it's now going into a cough right so you get the idea you can see how lovely it looks I'll just carry on with this and then what we do is we have to let it cool because if we don't let it cool all the butter, the fat in the um, topping will just start to melt and obviously that's not what we want. So we'll be back when it's time to pop the topping on. Our rhubarb, rhubarb? Our rhubarb has cooled sufficiently that we can just sprinkle over the topping and just make sure it's evenly or fairly evenly spaced don't want to see any rhubarb poking through and now we're ready for the oven and what you would do you would put that in a 180c oven just so you can see it for about 30 minutes just to make sure that it's all cooked through and you want some of the rhubarb juices bubbling up through the uh, crumble topping because that's lovely um do you know what it's actually lunchtime on saturday do i cook it oh heck yeah right so ah oh, that's hot it won't go in now i've just remembered i am gonna cook it and you will see it when it's ready to go. The oven's hot enough and we're ready to go. Now, this is another air fryer. This is more like an oven than any of my oven ones. This was a fairly cheap one from Lidl, 80 pounds it was. So I'm going to switch it on. I'm going to actually go with cake, but I will increase the temperature. Actually, I'm only going to increase it to 170. 
and this there you go 30 minutes and I'll press start now I can pop this in straight away so in we go please fit on the shelf that I want you to fit on there we go right and we'll come back in around 30 minutes to see how this is looking well I had to turn the temperature down because this was cooking so well so would you like to take a look I'm sure you would and let's just take a quick sneaky peek there we are looking good we haven't got any bubbling over really but that's not an issue is it if it does it just adds to the deliciousness so back in for another few minutes and we'll be back when we dish up we're on the literal final countdown now so as soon as this beeps we will be taking it out of the oven and uh, if it tastes half as good as it smells, and I can smell it even though I've got this rotten cold, we should be in for a treat. So come on. You know what they say about a watch pot, don't you? Well, let me tell you, a watched oven is exactly the same. There we go. Now we need to wait for the beef. own time oh come on there we go beep right we're done okie dokie right now I'm going to bring this up and show you just how gorgeous and Oh, that does look very good. Right, so come down. There we have our rhubarb and ginger oaty crumble. And the next time you see this, I'll be tucking in. Right then, it's ready. It's dished up. I've got a bit of cream with mine. I've got proper pieces of rhubarb not just strands that's why I don't actually stew it right so how delicately can I do this not very delicately right I've got some rhubarb and I've got some crumble on the spoon oh my Boys and girls, that's the way to do your rhubarb. Do not stew it. You want some texture left in it. And 10 minutes in the oven at 180, perfect. You're getting the ginger coming through. The orange juice has helped add a little bit more sweetness. So, oops. As far as I'm concerned, that gets a thumbs up. If you've liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. Any comments, write them down below. I'll happily reply and um, please subscribe. So thank you for watching this edition of In the Kitchen with Pen and I'll see you all again very soon. Bye bye. If you like what we're doing don't forget to give us a like. If you'd like to subscribe Click on our picture here. If you want to see more videos of what we get up to, click here. Thanks for watching. Bye.